Hi, Facebook. Okay, yep, so I started this a little late. Usually I start the live stream about a minute to a minute and a half before we do the Daily Dish, but this time I did it 30 seconds because I am tired. I am running on pure coffee right now, and I think I'm going to need the classic... The sugar-free Aldi brand Red Bull. This stuff's amazing, by the way. But right now, I don't need it. Right now, we got I got two cups of coffee in me. Um, it should be good. So we'll, let's get some Daily Dish out of the way, and then we'll chat about that uh, real quick after the stream's over. Has your dish. R. Kelly has allegedly been running a sex cult consisting of six women who he controls through verbal, physical, and emotional abuse. According to accusers, who are the parents of some of the purported victims, these six women live in rented properties across Chicago and Atlanta, and R. Kelly controls everything in their lives, including, quote, what they eat, how they dress, when they bathe, when they sleep, and how they engage in sexual encounters that he records. On top of that, he allegedly restricts their social media activity, requires them to get permission before contacting anyone else, and makes them call him daddy. Now, the girls are of legal age, but some were just barely over the line when they were recruited. And the problem is that all of them say they want to be with him, so they can't be forcibly removed. Now, I'm not really about jumping onto the guilty until proven innocent bandwagon that usually forms when these type of things happen. But uh, this is R. Kelly we're talking about here. He does have a spotty history with illicit sexual misdeeds. On a decidedly lighter note, yesterday news outlets were reporting that Taylor Swift had snuck out of her New York City apartment by climbing into an oversized suitcase and having two men carry her out. Now, this notion is already pretty ridiculous on its face, but Taylor Swift has never really been camera shy, so that just makes it seem downright absurd. The caption on the photo originally read, Taylor Swift being transported in a huge suitcase from her Tribeca apartment into her truck in the trunk. But then the agency which posted the photo changed the caption later in the day to Taylor Swift's security guards are seen moving a huge case into the trunk of a waiting SUV. Naturally, that makes things far less interesting, but why did they go with the original caption in the first place? Because some guy made it up. Yeah, that's it. There's no big mystery. Some dude uh, who they say is not a regular photographer just slapped a crazy story onto a mundane picture. This organization ran with it, and so did the rest of the internet. Drake launched his own brand of whiskey called Virginia Black Decadent American Whiskey, and it's being billed as, quote, a sexy luxury whiskey that's easy to drink a lot of. So to promote it, they're making fun of the Dos Equis most interesting man in the world ad campaign. Check this out. You know who's not worried about the most interesting man in the world? The realest dude ever. What's under my do rag? Another do rag. Virginia Black, one sip, and woo! That second guy? Yeah, that's Drake's dad. Or a Billy the Kid in the morning. Next. Well, that was an adventure. Because I didn't realize, I, usually when I play stuff off the computer over here, I just I leave the mic on. But I was like, way just a burger flip in second. Because if I leave the mic on, you won't be able to hear what's going on in the live stream. And that would be problematic if you're not actually listening to radio at the same time. Be problematic and inconsiderate. So, uh, so I had to then turn, you know, because if the mic's on, it mutes the speakers in the studio, so that it's not, you know, f massive amounts of feedback coming through the mic. That would be, it wouldn't be, wouldn't be workable. So that's why you wear headphones. I guess it's a little less, a mini lesson in radio if you're unfamiliar with how it works. That's why you wear headphones so you can hear yourself talk while the mic's on, and so you can hear the music and, and whatever else it is that you're talking over. So I had to turn the mic off, and I, th I think that went pretty well. I'm gonna have to go back and uh, check the tape on that. Other than the fact that today's Daily Dish was apparently like 17 minutes long. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah, so got like two hours of sleep last night. Um, came in, pounded two cups of coffee, and now I'm feeling pretty good. So uh, I expect, I anticipate this energy to wear off, I don't know, within like the hour maybe. I don't, I don't know how this works, and physiologically speaking, I'm not exactly sure how caffeine affects me. I don't feel like it usually does too much, but I feel fine right now. So either I'm in that zen zone where I got such a, a tiny amount of sleep that I'm like accessing the secrets of the universe by accident, or the caffeine is really working. Um, but if it does if it does start to wear off, I got the sugar-free Aldi brand Red Bull and a whole buttload of K-Cups. So we should be good for the rest of the day. Anyway, that's it for the Daily Dish. Um, three hours from now, a little bit less than three hours, 10.30 a.m., 
We got the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. I don't know what's planned on it because we haven't planned it yet. That's the kind of thing that we do when my show's over at 10 o'clock and I go say hi to Scott. So I will see you then. Thanks for checking in. Until next time, peace be with you.